Hey kids, coming at you live from the science lab, except not really live, but I was live when I was videotaping this, but now you're watching it videotaped, so it's not live, but anyway, I was live. Anyway, moving on. I wanted to give you an update on the trout, because this is the first year that I introduced the trout project to every single class, and this is the first year ever that, of course, we're not actually gonna be able to go have our trout release party, but I wanted to let you all know what the progress is so that way everybody can have an idea still about what's going on with the trout life cycle and I will actually film it when I do go and release them in a couple days so here is the update first of all as you can see there's our tank I did take off the covering because now they can be in the light sorry I'm just trying to adjust the iPad here so, so right the now the trout are actually almost to the point where they're ready to be released there's a bunch still in there though that are very, very young. There's some that are kind of weird looking, like they're all curled up like in a half circle. I'll show you some footage in just a second, so that way you can see them up close. But at any rate, they are progressing along. There's a couple fry that are just swimming around freely, but a lot of them are still in that 11 stage where they're just kind of hanging out in the gravel. And in fact, I moved around some of the rocks, and I'll show you in just a second what happened, but I did that. And um, I moved around some of the rocks, and there's a whole bunch of them under the rock. So remember how I told you, there's a lot of classes that I was telling that I always get to the point where I figure, oh my gosh, they're all dead, I've killed them, ah, this is terrible. So yeah, I was at that point, I figured there would be two that were alive, and lo and behold, I moved the rocks and voila, there's a whole bunch that are actually still alive. So I'm very, very glad about that. And I'm hoping that I will be releasing them in that secret location, you guys know where it is, right? but I will be releasing them at some point over the next couple of days, the next week, I don't know. And unfortunately, I can't tell you exactly when because we certainly wouldn't want a whole bunch of us to get together. But at any rate, I am hoping to film it when I go. And um, so that way, at least you guys can participate in your hearts, if not in person. So let me show you up close what's going on with them and I hope you enjoy it, bye. So here's a close up view of what's going on. And you know, it's always tricky to try to be filming through a glass tank because the camera kind of wants to focus on the glass. So every now and then though, we can get a pretty clear shot. So there are a couple guys back in that corner back there. And let's see if there's any other guys all along here. Remember, I'm just using the term guys generically. We really don't know if they are male or female. We could not tell that unless they were adults. I do see one dude right there. Hi there, dude. And it looks like the rest of them right now are hiding a little bit, but hey, I don't mind for the, you know, educational purpose of letting you guys see them. Oh, look, did you see that guy under that rock? I am gonna move that rock then, so I don't mind doing that for you guys so that way you can see what's going on. There's my giant human hand, which by the way, my hand is totally clean. No antibacterial soap or anything like that on it. I just washed it in fresh water to make it so that my hands are totally clean because any of that antibacterial stuff or hand sanitizer would actually kill them. Oh, hello, dude. That guy was kind of cute, huh? So there are some weirdos in here and I really don't know what's going on with them. I'll see if I can find any of these weird ones. When I say weird, I mean weird. It's like they're, they're stuck in the 11 stage. Just didn't see any there. They're like partially 11, partially fry. I don't know, it's really, really weird. Uh, one thing that I found though, is that if I use this thermometer, uh, which is not really, you know, meant for this purpose, but if I kind of uh, swirl the water over the gravel, sorry, it's moving around a lot. If I swirl the thermometer over the gravel, then it kind of makes them move a little bit, and then you might be able to see a little bit better. So let me see if there's any guys over here. As I swirl, oh, there, 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 do you see that guy? He just went back here. Let me see if I can get him out by swirling the water. That direction. Nope, he must have found a good spot to hang out. Let's see if there's anybody else hiding. Oh, here comes a couple people. There's a couple people back in there. And by people, I mean fish. Now, see what I mean by weird? Isn't that weird? There are some really weird looking dudes here. It's not my imagination, but that's weird, isn't it? I thought so. So they're not exactly 11, but they're not exactly fry yet because as you can see, they don't really swim very well. 
they're just sort of bent around in this half circle thing. And I really don't know what to say about that because it could be that they're actually deformed. They could actually be mutations where maybe they're not actually going to survive. I don't know. So I've never really seen them do this before. By the time we have some that are fry, like you see those like four that are swimming around there pretty well, um, usually they're all fry. So I really don't know what to make of this. The fact that this one guy, like right there in the center of the screen, that one guy is not a fry yet. But um, yeah, so hey, your guess is as good as mine. Ooh, I do see a couple more on the other side of the tank right now. So let me move over there. Let's see, where did it go? Let's see, there's a guy right there. This guy seems to really like looking at his or herself in the reflection in the side of the tank. It does seem to be over here a lot. Kind of interesting. Okay, now it's super blurry. That was not very helpful. There we go. So he's kind of cute, but maybe a little crazy. Maybe he's lonely. Maybe if I get lower, it'll be a better shot of him or her. Ooh. It's kind of cool. You can really see the reflection. Wait, am I looking at two? Am I looking at one? What am I looking at? That's a reflection, isn't it? Holy cow, what a trick. Yeah, that's totally a reflection, but it looks like a second fish. <laughs> that's a really cool little play of light right there. So the one on the left is the real fish. The one on the right is the reflection. Okay, that's awesome. I like it. But one way I can tell it's a reflection is if you look at the rocks, you can kind of see how some of the rocks are repeating themselves. They're of course from a slightly different angle, but still like those, there's a grouping of two pink rocks that right now is at the bottom left and then over on the middle right. So those rocks are just reflections of each other. It's again, just like the fish, it's just a reflection. Really cool. But I like how this guy's kind of staying put because you can really see his little body parts. You can really see his gills too. Can you see that where the gill flap opens up and you can see the red? And people are like, oh no, he's bleeding. This is terrible. He's going to die. And to that, I say, no, silly. What that is, is that's just the blood vessels that are right at the surface of his gills. Because remember, that's how he breathes. So the blood is right there at the surface of his gills. It's very, very thin skin right there in his gills. So as the water washes over his gills, the oxygen from the water goes right through that super thin skin of his gills and it goes right into his bloodstream. It's not exactly that it's skin, I'm just saying that so that way you realize that it's not really that it's, you know, blood that is about to leak all over the place. It's blood that's contained within the blood vessels. So I guess, let me change my mind. I'm gonna call it blood vessels. So the, the blood in his gills are in blood vessels that have very, very thin walls. So what happens is that the blood being very, very close to the surface, right there where the water washes over, the blood is easily able to take on oxygen and to get rid of carbon dioxide. So just like you do when you breathe, you take in oxygen, you breathe out carbon dioxide. That's the same thing the fish does. But the fish doesn't actually, quote, take a breath, unquote. Although right there, it does look like he's breathing, doesn't he? Looks like he's been swimming too hard. Huh, huh, huh. I need to take a break, I need to take a break. But no, what he's doing is that he's opening and closing his gill flaps so that way he can get oxygen coming into his bloodstream and get rid of the carbon dioxide that he just built up from all that hard work swimming around. Because he doesn't look like he's really that great of a swimmer yet, does he? And that's just his reflection, by the way. Let me try to get a different angle, see if we can get the actual dude. Yeah, it makes it so that we can't see it too easily, huh? Hmm. Well, that is gonna have to be as good as we get. Ooh, here's another little dude, though. Hi, little dude. It's kind of mesmerizing to just watch the fish doing their thing. He does seem to be working awfully hard, though, doesn't he? I kind of want to tell him, dude, chill. Oh, oh my gosh, he did just chill. I am a fish whisperer. I am in control of the fish. Fish, stop swimming now. Huh, kind of did it. Does that count? Do I still get points for that? Maybe not so much. Let's see if there's any other fish. I'm gonna try to stick the camera way back in this corner. Oops, almost had it. I'm gonna 
try to stick this way back in this corner to see these guys that are back here. And focus, focus, there we go. You're looking at the pump on the right there and there's this tube in the middle. And then on the far left, that's just the corner of the tank. This is way back in the back corner. Just wanted to see these guys back here, see what they're up to. They're just chilling. Not as frantic as the ones that were up in the front. Maybe they like being back here. And I've been curious if there's any behind this little filter thingy. So now that I'm back here with the camera, let me see. Ooh, well, that's the same guy, but it's a good view. And it doesn't look like there's any that are hanging out back there. I have been curious about that. Oh, hey, I just saw one that's sitting right here, kind of half stuck in the gravel. So if you guys were here at school today, you'd say, Mrs. Holder, this is terrible. There's a fish stuck in the gravel. Help it. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. But no, he's doing it on purpose. So if he wants to be there, who am I to take him out, right? Which I know contradicts what I did a few minutes ago when I was whooshing around the water so that we can see him. But that was for educational purposes, right? Now that we're done and we know where they are, I certainly don't need to keep doing that. Let me get a better view of him. I think I need to back up a little. Sorry, this is very, very wiggly. There, I backed up a little. Oops, if I talk, it gets shaky. So let me not talk for a second. Okay, never mind. It's still shaky even when I'm not talking. <laughs> okay, but when I laugh, it gets worse. So, note to self, don't laugh. And, oh, I do see one more. This is that guy we looked at a minute ago. He's still frantically swimming. Frantically, frantically swimming. Buddy, it's okay. Don't you notice you haven't even gone anywhere? You're literally staying in the same spot. Just chill. Chill. Oh, good. Finally, he's chilling. Oh, now he's at it again. Well, anyway, what are you gonna do? It's like he doesn't even understand my words. Hmm. So the reason why it's super noisy right now is because the water level is a little bit low. And so that thing right there, which is supposed to blow, um, it actually mixes with, um, there's air that comes in right here. And so it mixes air with the water. Ooh, ooh hey, I just it made it a little quieter. Um, but it helps to keep the water well oxygenated. But the problem is, is that the water level is supposed to be not way down here. It's with my finger, not way down here, but it should be up here, but it's not. Um, because of course some of the water gets lost to evaporation, even though I do keep the lid on the tank. But um, right now it's not so easy to go to the store and buy this, right? Kind of an interesting problem that I'm having. So I can't buy some mountain spring water right now. Um, therefore I can't refill the tank. So the tank is a couple of inches low. I should probably add about two more gallons of water to it. But we should be okay because the fish are almost ready to go. So I'm hoping that um, in the next couple of days, all the little ones that were are in that weird state where they're all curled up still, I'm hoping that they will all be swimming freely and that all these other guys that are kind of hanging out on the bottom, I'm hoping that they will all, you know, I've lost them all, but whatever, they're there somewhere. <laughs> um, I'm hoping that they will all be big enough and strong enough that they can be released and have some chance of survival. Ooh, there's a dude right there. Nice. I'm hoping that they can all be released and have some chance of survival. So, anyway. So, I just wanted to give you an update of what's going on here in the science lab with the fish. And like I said, I will be releasing the trout in the next couple days. If you wanted to name the trout, if you had a name picked out for any of them, uh, why don't you send me an email and let me know? And then I can read the names uh, as I'm making the video for the release day. And so that way you can participate in the release party that way. Now, I have no idea if 700 kids are about to send me an email saying, you need to name the fish Nemo. And as I told some of you, no, that's one name that I will not name the fish. The other name, sorry to anybody whose name is Bob, but Bob is also an outlawed name for fish. 
because I tell you what, there's probably 300 fish in that lake right now that are named Nemo or Bob. So if we could just avoid those names. Anyway, but anything else, send me an email. My email address is sholder, yeah, like shoulder, but not actually shoulder, because that's spelled with a U, S-H-O-U-L-D-E-R. And my name is S Holder, S-H-O-L-D-E-R, at pleasantonusd.net. So send me an email and let me know what you want to name the fish. And I guess I should also say that if it turns out that there's, you know, five million different people giving names, um, yeah, I'm probably going to need to limit it. So maybe I will just, you know, pick a couple and that sort of thing. Um, so have a great rest of your break from school, from physical school, I should say. And I hope to see you soon. Definitely miss you and take care. Bye.